Hi, I'm Tom Sinclair, and I want to tell you about the PTZ Optics 20X PTZ camera. And I've got one right here. The PTZ Optics 20X camera kind of falls into the middle of the PTZ Optics line. There's a 12X and a 30X, but this is the 20X. The 20X is great for church applications because it's got just enough zoom to get to, oh, maybe a 50 or 75 foot um, deep sanctuary and still get a, a kind of a waist to, to head shot on, on the speaker. Um, it, is, it is good in low light, but it's not good with high motion. That is, you're not going to be able to follow action in a walking person very well with this camera. This camera, I think, I can't speak for the designer, but the way I would use it would be to get a series of fixed shots and then let the camera move from preset to preset um, and not try to use the camera as if it were a manned camera um, and use that robotic sense. It's not quite ready for that yet. On the back of the camera, we have a series of jacks that allow us to connect inputs and outputs, uh, and in this case, the LAN jack, that is your IP jack that'll go to your, your router or your switch. Uh, this will allow you to control the camera over IP using software like vMix or an app, um, or even over, uh, even through a browser, you can connect the, your browser to the camera by IP address and control the camera in that way. This jack also is a PoE and allows you to power the camera over Ethernet if you have a, a PoE switch that's capable of sending 12 volts. Um, the last thing, well, actually there are two more things about this jack. One is that you can get video over IP. That's right, you can get video from the camera over your Ethernet jack and run it straight into your PC and bring it into your software like vMix as an, as an IP stream. Uh, the only drawback from that is that there's a little bit of latency. You know, it might be 200 milliseconds, 300, maybe even 400 in some cases. Uh, so if you're matching up to other cameras that are not IP cameras, the lip sync will be off. But if you have all, all three or all four cameras that are just like this and they're all IP, then you shouldn't have any problems. Next to the LAN jack is the HDMI port. And this is an HDMI output. Next to that is SDI, SDI output, and actually both of these can be active at the same time. Next to that is a USB 2 jack. Now the USB 2 is kind of for future use, but we found out that it will supply up to 5 volts of DC power. Next to that is the DC jack uh, from shore power, and then of course the on-off switch next to that. Back over here in the top on the second row is the line-in jack. This is where we would get audio from a mixer. Uh, we could plug a microphone straight into this jack as well, but it would need to be powered on its own because this jack doesn't supply any power. Next to that is a CVBS button, uh, excuse me, input. That's where we would connect our, for a composite stream. If we wanted to have low or standard definition video, we would connect in here. Next to that is the resolution and frame rate dial. Currently it's set to zero. There's actually a little chart here on the bottom. Oops, right over here, right there. There we go. That chart on the bottom tells you the, ver the various frame rates, which include 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720, all the way down to 480, I believe. Let's see, let's just double check now that we've set it. Um, yep, down to 480i. And that includes uh, frame rates of 60, 50, 30, and 25. All of those are set by the dial back here on the back. Um, currently the dial is set for zero, which is 1080p60. I like to set it for six, that's 1080p30, which is just perfect for studio use. We actually use the 12X version of this camera in our studio because it's great to be able to control it right from here with the handy dandy remote control. It comes with this infrared remote control and batteries. The control will control up to four cameras and each camera can have up to 10 presets on the, on the remote control here. The remote control allows complete control over the camera, pan, tilt, zoom, and focus, as well as some control over uh, the, uh, the 
pan tilt, excuse me, pan tilt zoom and focus as well as backlight control. Uh, comes even comes with batteries. Very handy. Um, it features built into this thing. They're in the owner's manual. But for example, you can reset the camera to factory default just by pressing a series of keystrokes here on the remote. Really pretty handy. Continuing on with our journey across the back of the camera, in addition to the line-in jack and the um, composite video jack and the and the dial for uh, resolution, we have the RS-485 connection, and this can be used for control. And then next to that, RS-232 connections in and out for VSCA control. So you've got a variety of ways that you can control the camera. On the bottom of the camera, we have the standard uh, quarter 20 receptacle with the uh, reference point for it. We have a series of three different threaded holes that can be used for the PTZ Optics ceiling bracket so that you can mount this guy on the ceiling. Uh, we've got a series of little cushioning pads across the bottom so that it can be positioned on a desktop. And then of course it can be mounted on a tripod or a wall bracket again with the quarter 20 connection in the middle. The, um, the standard IP address is printed on the bottom of the camera, as is the, uh, I think, the password. Yep, the, the username and password. So if you want to log into it when it's in standard uh, factory IP address, you can do that there. And that is the PTZ Optics 20X camera. Comes in white, comes in gray. Very handy little guy. We love these. And we've got we've sold these in a bunch of churches across the country and in fact uh, have these in some sporting arenas in Europe and in Israel. Um, if you're interested in more information or if you have questions about these, you can um, send me an email, tom at easternshorebroadcasting.com or you can go to our website, easternshorebroadcasting.com, and go to the contact page and drop us a note there. Be happy to answer any questions. Even set up, a, if you want to see a live demo of what, what, what it looks like, we're happy to do that. So this is the PTZ Optics 20X SDI from easternshorebroadcasting.com. Thank you.